Alrighty. Hello everyone and happy Friday. Welcome back to Success Live. Uh, today we have a very special guest for you. Um, her name is Courtney and she is a cognitive rehab therapist. So Courtney, come on over and join us and uh, let's hear what you have to say about CRT. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Courtney, as Janelle mentioned. I'm a cognitive rehabilitation therapist here at Success. Um, I've been working here and a part of the Success family going on 10 years now. Well, it will be 10 years. Um, I first started out working as a direct support professional with the clients, and now I'm CRT. Awesome. All right, well, let's hear, hear about CRT. <laughs> Uh, cognitive rehabilitation therapy is a broad term that is used to describe treatments um, that address cognitive problems that can arise after a brain injury. Some deficits may include memory, attention, social behavior, safety judgments, and things like that. Um, there's two broad approaches that we use while working with individuals. The first one is restorative CRT. And that can be reinstating or strengthening the functions a person either has lost or continues to find challenging from day to day. Another approach we use is compensatory CRT, which is utilizing tools to assist one in completing everyday functions as they build new skills. And this can be technology-based um, with you know, various technology devices, um, calendars, alarms, things like that. So, as a CRT, we specifically work to build or establish new patterns of cognitive activity. Um, we focus on compensating impaired neurological systems. Uh, we also reinforce or try to really strengthen uh, cognitive weaknesses by focusing on developing awareness of the problem. We also focus on identifying an individual's cognitive deficits and work towards improving those areas. We work to restore an individual's sequencing pattern, thought, information processing, concentration, and problem solving abilities. Some examples of those would be like writing tasks, spelling, um, like I mentioned, computer based technology applications, puzzles, car models, things like that. That's what we really work on. And we work, you know, towards improving those areas. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing about that. Um, we do have a couple questions that um, when we posted the other day that we were going live, um, some people wanted to know, what is your favorite part about being a CRT? Mm. My favorite part, I would say, just the rewarding feeling that you get seeing an individual grow, you know, um, just when they make progress on whatever aspect they're focusing on and working towards improving, just seeing that end goal and that end result, seeing them achieve that is just the best feeling in the world for me. I would have to agree. So I am also a cognitive rehab therapist, <laughs> and one of my favorite things is honestly working with the different clients. I mean, everybody is different. Everybody, you know, has different goals. Everybody has different strengths and weaknesses, and that's probably one of my my favorites, along with the rewardingness of, you know, helping somebody overcome, you know, whatever it may be, or just working towards a goal and getting back to, you know, where they want to be. Exactly. Um, so another question we had is um, what are, and I know you mentioned some of these in you know, speaking, so a little repetitive, but what are um, some cognitive activities that you per se do with some of your clients? Um, and like, do you have a favorite? Do some, of your, you know, do some of your clients like to do more, you know, do the same things more than the other? Or? That's a good question. Um, I use a lot of technology-based applications, as I've mentioned before. So I'll use um, a lot of applications on the iPad that work towards, you know, focusing on different areas. Um, so, uh, like I said, we use iPads and other tablet devices. They work on video scanning abilities, um, task switching, divided attention, um, a lot one. of those aspects. Yeah. Oh, huh, that's very interesting. All right. Um, do we have a question in the audience live? We do. What is your general philosophy and approach to helping? Are you more directive or more guiding? Um, I would say I'm more guiding. 
because I don't I don't necessarily like to tell people what to do you know I don't think that's the best approach but I like to um, offer options you know offer a lot of like different <laughs> channels yeah and ways to go I mean everyone's different too so it depends it's mm-hmm. base to base you know on a client. yeah I um, think it depends a lot on each individual's goals and what they're looking towards establishing all right does anybody else have any other questions in the uh in the chat down here We've got a lot of you viewing <laughs> hello everybody oh come on someone's got to have a question yeah throw them hearts <laughs> nobody's got any questions all right well, thank you everybody for joining. Um, if you are just joining now and you missed the beginning half, don't worry, you can still watch um, this video. We will be posting it later. And if you do have any questions, um, you know, feel free to ask. Oh, we do have some questions. All right. How often do you seek peer consultation? Hmm. What do you mean? What? what specifically well like with um an individual getting crt or you know just kind of like working with others can you elaborate on that question a little more i mean sometimes we do we do like group therapy sessions you know whether it depends on what activity we're working on um but a lot of times just having that peer support in that kind of like group experience in that atmosphere, it does help promote the individual. Okay, and the other, how are you using VR? So that is something new that we've kind of introduced. I haven't per se used that with any of my um, individuals, but um, I know that, you, have you touched yeah. on that a little bit? I, I work um, in this field with a couple clients. So VR is a virtual reality experience that we use here at Success. And it's it's kind of like, what what is it called the, um, the, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm I'm blanking on the name of it, but um, it's it's like where you put these goggles on and you're in like a yeah, whole other virtual, virtual simulator world. or whatever. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, and you know, there's different types of areas that we work on with those. Like, there's a couple different games. Like, there's an outer space one that um. We use. I think we touched base on that a little bit actually in a previous video. Um, but yeah, there's like different um, things that you can do. Like I know, for instance, the space one was you're climbing yeah. up a space ladder. Um, so th- those kind, of, these kind of um, the VR kind of offers like a different perspective. And you know, maybe someone has you know different disabilities that wouldn't really be they wouldn't be able to kind of you know work those. Um, Area areas um as much independently so you know the vr kind of gives it a completely different perspective literally um so yeah so we we do offer that here um but i have not gotten to uh experience that um as much with some of my individuals but um what do you do when a client is resistant to participating in a session or a task oh that is a good one that happens a lot yeah (laughs) um that is a good question Obviously, try talking things out first and foremost. That's what I originally start to do. Um, I don't know, really just try to get to like the root of the issue. Maybe there's something going on with that individual. Try to just really talk to them, see what's going on, um, offer other things to work on. You know, you don't, there's no set rules of what you have to do. So you could work on other different areas or other cognitive tasks. So. Yeah, it may just be a matter of not wanting to, you know, engage in a particular activity. Yeah, I like to offer a couple choices, and then I'll let the client choose from one of those cognitive tasks. So I found in the past that that works really well. All right, and another one. Do you recommend or have um, any favorite apps to work on cognition or memory recall? There are so many amazing apps out there. Um, Where you you use. Um, technology a lot so Mm -hmm. what are some of the apps that you use I know that um, one of my favorites that I use with a lot of individuals are um, seven little words and that is kind of a word in a language association so you kind of have to unscramble letters to figure out a root word based on a definition so it's using 
a lot of different parts of the brain. So I find that one very um, popular. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I know like Scrabble, you know, words with friends. Those mm -hmm. are some big ones. A big um, trendy one lately is Wordle, mm -hmm. as some of you may know. Um, that's a big one as well. Um, there are a lot of um, memory games too on is it constant constant therapy mm -hmm. um, is another great app that we mm -hmm. utilize here at success um, there's a lot of different you know categories memory recall you know processing um, all, all those different types of categories there's different kinds of games on that app um, I believe that that one is not free unfortunately but there are a lot of um, different kinds of apps out there and I could look on my phone what they are, but I don't have my phone, <laughs> so <laughs> I can't do that. True. But, um, all right, what are your strengths and limitations as a counselor? Oh, boy. Oh, man. You're picking us apart here. I'm just kidding. Um, um, some sh oh. Man. Wow. I, one of my, I would say one of my strengths, and I'm sure you could probably agree to this too, is um, technology-based things. Um, so, you know, there are so many things out there, so That's many different point. options. Like, there, every day things are evolving. Okay, so, you know, like we have like simple things like, you know, on your phone or your iPad. But, I mean, like we mentioned, you got the VR too, which has come a long way, and it's only getting better. So, I feel like technology is probably one of my strengths. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, just like you said, I feel like technology, we've come such a long way. So there's so many things we can do and utilize for our sessions. So that definitely helps out in a tremendous way. Limitations. That's tough. I mean, so these things can get expensive, right? So, I mean, I guess you could say that's a, a limitation. You know, sometimes don't always have the funds, um, the funds or just all of the... Um, newer technology um, available right away but um, those things you know take time mm -hmm. um, another limitation honestly as a therapist would probably be you know having individuals not willing to participate or engage in that activity mm -hmm. um, you know because we're here to help you and um, you know if they're not willing to you know move forward or just kind of engage in those activities that are going to help them for that day, you know, that's a big struggle because mm -hmm. you, you can't make anyone do anything they don't want to do. Yeah. So I would say that's also probably one of my biggest limitations. Yeah, and I feel like half the battle is just agreeing to get them to focus on something and just agreeing to do the task. So yeah. it's half the battle. Does anyone else have any other questions? I like these on-the-spot questions. Oh, I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I take that back. I don't. Well, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway. All right. Well, if there's no more questions, um, you're still able to ask questions in this video when we post it later. Mm -hmm. um, we really appreciate you guys joining and asking some questions. But like I said, if you have any questions later, you're always able to um, watch this video again. Um, and... You will have to stay tuned for next week um, to see what we got. Um, our video will not be live next Friday, I believe, because it is Good Friday. Good Friday. So um, still be on the lookout for that. And uh, yeah, thank you, Courtney, right. for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me, guys. <laughs> if you guys have any other questions, then uh, feel free to ask them, post them in the video. But otherwise, make sure you're uh, tuned on Fridays at 1230. All right, everyone, now I gotta get up and go turn the camera <laughs> off. But thank you, everyone, for joining. Thanks, bye.